Low back stiffness, low back pain, it's something I deal with day in and day out, and many of you do too. So what we're going to go over today is some ways that you can kind of combat that or deal with that. What it all boils down to essentially is move more. The more you move, the less stiff you will be. So if you can move more and sit less, just that alone will allow you to be less stiff and use your muscles more appropriately. Now we're going to give you some specific things you can do where you can work a mobility of your spine in general, your upper back. Your, up, your upper back particularly, your thoracic spine, which is right in here, tends to be really tight on most individuals because we sit too much, sitting at computers, driving, different things. When we sit, we tend to put ourselves in a position that reduces the mobility of our upper back. So we find a lot of people with low back pain and low back stiffness actually have a lot of stiffness in their upper back or thoracic spine. So if we can get that to move, that's going to help a lot too. And then we're going to go over some core activation exercises because the more your core is on, generally the less your back will be on. So if we can get you to supplement some of that tension in your low back with some core, whether it be your anterior core or deep pelvic core, that can help a lot as well. So let's go over a few things that you guys can do to combat this stiffness. And if you don't find something in this video, we have a lot of other videos you can look at too. So we're going to have Leon come out. Leon's going to go over just the general mobility drill first. We're going to do the cat-cow, which just basically gets the entire spine to move. So we're essentially, you're going to go on all fours from that position, hands on the shoulders, knees on their hips, and you're going to move through your pelvis. And by tucking your pelvis and extending your pelvis, anterior, posterior tilting, you're going to get a movement general mobility through that thoracic spine, that lumbar spine, and your cervical spine. So the entire spine is moving. Think of it as kind of a wave going up and down. When your low back is low, your head is high. When your low back is high, your head is low. Do this 10, 15, 20 times. You're not going to do it too much, but generally I tell most individuals to do it on a repeated basis. You know, 15 to 20 times seems to be a good number for most. So that's the whole spine. Now if we want to pare it down to the areas that tend to be tighter, we'll look at the thoracic spine. If you, so if you sit your butt back to your heels and then put your hands right in front of your knees, you'll, know, you'll lock out your lumbar spine. So you're going to move through your low back less. Now if you put one hand on the back of your neck and back of the head, you're going to rotate up. And as you rotate up, you want to always look at your elbow. So you're always using your eyes to follow the elbow and then you're going to go down. Elbow will touch other elbow and you're working on thoracic mobility. This time rotation, which is huge, which helps with extension. So we're working on this area here. Shouldn't cause pain in your shoulder or anything else. We're just working on moving. So 10 on one side, and then you'll switch and put it on the other side. So as you drop the right hand, put it right in front of that right knee, put the left hand on the back of the head or neck, rotate up. Again, follow the elbow with your eyes, and you're gonna rotate. 10 on each side, you can repeat if you feel you're getting more gains out of it and you wanna get a little deeper, Work on that too. So try the cat cow and a little thoracic rotational mobility to see if you can just get things moving. So along with just moving more and getting better mobility, it's also a great idea if you can strengthen things, specifically your core. We look to strengthen those deeper core muscles, not just your abdominal wall, but your abdominal wall and your deep pelvic muscles and all those little muscles that surround your spine. If they're stronger and more active, you tend to see someone's stiffness is reduced in their low back and they generally don't have as much pain. So there's a million different core exercises we can go over. We have an entire course dedicated to the low back with a variety of exercises and things you can do. But right now we're going to break it down to just a basic plank because it's a great exercise most individuals can do to turn on most of their core muscles. So we're going to have Leon go down on the ground. So you can start out on your knees if you want. You can go into a low plank or a high plank. If you go low plank, you can go forearms. And the key to this exercise is that you feel it in the right spot. So if you're on your knees and your forearms, that's fine for some individuals. You want to be bracing through your abdominal wall. Imagine someone's punching you, and you should feel it all there. You do not want to feel your low back activating and tensing and getting sore. If you do, it's too hard for you. If this feels too easy, then we can get you to go up to the toes. So Leon goes to the toes and the forearms, and he's going to plank himself out. Nice straight line. Again, he's feeling the stomach. He's not feeling the back. He's not caving down. So if he fell down here, that would start to stress his back out. We don't want that. So we're going to hold these. I like short planks, 10 to 20 seconds, and then you rest. So we'll let Leon rest for a second. So he's going to rest for a couple seconds. From the ground, if he tenses his core, so tense your stomach on the ground, Leon, and then use that to pull yourself back up. 
you'll get a much deeper core activation. And again, he's holding a nice straight position. He's not down, he's not piking up either. He's a nice flat board. You could rest a, a drink on him if you wanted to. So 10 to 20 seconds, and repeat this up to five times to start. Again, you never wanna feel your low back. So we worked on mobility, right? We did some mobility exercises. We worked on activating some core muscles, which will help dial back some of that tension. The other thing you can do is just self-massage. The easiest way is get yourself a ball. Lacrosse ball works well. You can use a tennis ball too, but lacrosse ball a little firmer is better. So what we're gonna look for is gonna have Leon turn around so we can point it out. So on your back, you have sets of muscles. You have paraspinals or erector muscles that run down your back. Your spine's in the middle, and you have layers of these muscles that run down your spine. They tend to be overactive in people that are stiffer or feeling pain in their back. So in these areas, you can take a ball and put it right on those muscles and self-massage them. We're gonna avoid the spine in the middle, but it is right next to it, and you're gonna take it. So we're gonna have Lee on the ball, you use it right up against the wall. He's gonna put it right in the back, kind of his upper low back, which is kind of where your ribs are. And then you're just gonna slowly go up and down, a little left and right, until you can kind of target a muscle or a spot you find that's very tender. It'll usually feel like a little spot a hot spot is what I call it, and then you're gonna sit there. You're not gonna move, and you're just gonna breathe. 10, 20, 30, 40 seconds, you should see that pain dissipate and drop off significantly or totally go away. No more than a minute, hold the spot. If it gets better, 20 seconds, move on. But look up and down, both sides, maybe three spots on either side, target those. You can do this up to three times a day. Again, no more than a minute, but ideally what you're looking for is discomfort and pain that alleviates within a minute. So try this, try the mobility, try the core activation, see how it does at decreasing your overall low back stiffness and pain. And if these don't seem to work for you, again, we have a variety of other exercises and mobility drills you can look at. Just take a look at our page. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like it and share it with a friend. Also, we'd love to send you three posture correction exercises that we've done with Dr. David Oliver. These videos will help correct that forward head and rounded shoulder type of posture that we're all suffering from today. So if you'd like to get those three videos, there's gonna be a link to get them somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you those videos right away.